Well, this is Zephon. Uh, I'm Dan. And I'm Rock. Uh, and we're here to show you, as I said, Zephon, our post-apocalyptic horror survival 4X, which we tend to refer to as an evil civilization. So I think we'll start off by trying to grab these caches and see what we get from them. Okay, okay. Explore the map a little bit. So we got a trauma kit, which is a hero item, which we'll be able to equip later on once we get a hero. Ooh. And here I'm gonna... I don't think you'll make it to that one, are you? No, I can't. I'll stop on this river and see what else Ooh. is around. Okay. And then the big decision, where do we place our first and only city since we're playing the emulated mine? That's um, a hard one. Ooh. That is a hard one. I mean, that, that big shield, the shielding unit there looks impressive, but... It does, but there's no, yeah. You got, but you haven't got much greenery near there. Mm, it's Indeed. a hard choice. We probably don't need so much energy to start off especially. So I think, like here, there is quite a lot of bunny. We see that if we sum mm -hmm. up these percentages, it's actually 60% here. Here it's actually even mm -hmm. 70. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna delay the turn, a turn, because mm -hmm. I can't actually get there and uh, place the city there. I also like that there's three building slots here rather than two that's here or mm -hmm. here too, uh, which allows me to place an initial building and just start a faster thing. So I'm gonna go towards there and make a city. Cool. I think that's uh, first turn. Let's see what happens. Probably not much in the first turn, since I haven't discovered anything. Okay, everything passed peacefully. Oh, a sandstorm popped up though. Indeed. Which yeah, we don't want that to go. Side. Yeah, so it popped up. It's a moving there. hazard, isn't it? So that's going to drift around the battlefield and cause problems for us. Yeah, it's going to damage any units that are uh, going to be in there. And actually, it spawned on, <laughs> on the tile we want to. <laughs> make a city on which is fine it'll damage our city a little bit but that's uh, fine the city can take it yeah the cities are tough pop up the city here and then the first decision is gonna be what building we start with i think i want to make units as fast as possible so i'm gonna go for the synthetic printer which allows me mm -hmm. to make more issue forces and other Cyber units. Kind of yeah, but it look, it look, look, looking at the resources at the top there, it does look like you'll need some more chips pretty soon from somewhere, yeah. which will let you build those cyber units. Because uh, otherwise, they're, they're, yeah. yeah, you'll get some from building the, the issue in force ER because that's production building as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we can build more. Um, so here I got energy. Unfortunately, it wasn't chips, although it couldn't have been chips because it was a voice cache. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some upclutes here hiding in the forest. Um, I can shoot them with my Oblivion Cannon, which is the special range 6 um, mm -hmm. cannon of the Emulated Mine City. It's gonna do 3 damage, unfortunately, not gonna kill any of them, but it'll soften up a little so my Ishim Enforcers can. <coughs> Uh, kill one out of three. That's a, that's a start. Yeah, the forest is protecting them there, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting cover. And we get to pick research. Um, Ooh. After a pretty big tech tree in the demo, we're showing off uh, six tiers, and the full game will have ten of them. And mm -hmm. uh, for this game, since we're a cyber affinity, even though we could at a disadvantage be researching the other stuff we're just gonna limit ourselves to the cyber affinity since that's our mm -hmm. special power so each each leader has their own special um, unique research element don't they so perfect logistics here for the um the emulated mine yeah the emulated mine which gives a more flat resources from all outposts which is huge mm -hmm. But it might not be what you wanted to go for straight away. Yeah. Um, probably, yeah, we don't have many 
outpost. So this was an outpost here, this watchtower gives us influence research and some site when there's a unit on it. This one here gives us energy, uh, but we don't have enough of them so that that would feel worth it. Mm -hmm. So we definitely have a couple choices here. We could go for the cyber hero. Mm -hmm. We could go for defense for our issue enforcers. We could go for some chips, uh, which we will need. We could go mm -hmm. for research when we kill neutral units. Um, I think those would be the main choices. We could also go for vehicles already, but since we're low on going to be low on chips, that's probably too much to ask since we're already making a, a cyber infantry building. What do you think, Dan? Should we go for the hero or the research speed up or the chip? I think I go for the ooh, I go for the research speed up. Go for specimen containment. I always okay. like killing killing things, getting rewarded for it. Seems worthwhile. All right, let's do that. Oh, and there's a sentry down here as well, which oh, is a okay. defensive unit that. Uh, if you damage them, they go in a special mode and hurt you even more. So um, it's worth worth saying that the the kind of secret source of our games is definitely the kind of uh, complex tactical combat that we've had since at least since Pandora um, First Contact, which was our second game. Um, and it is you can, it can be quite difficult to survive in the early stages of a game if you're not cautious and if you spread your units out too much. So. The emulated mind has a huge advantage with this big cannon she's got, um, which we haven't even fired yet. Which I but haven't yeah. even fired yet, yeah. I'm thinking of actually going for the sentries down yeah, here with it. I agree, yeah. They're the bigger threat. Um, the, yeah, the, I find the, the Zephon AI units at the start are very tough. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're not going to finish off the upclutes here. And they're most likely I'm gonna here. run away. They're gonna survive with like just 0 0.2 hit points. Or one is rounded up. So they'll run away, but uh, yeah, we'll get them next turn. I think. Yeah. Should yeah, you'll get them. Yeah, you'll, you'll get them with the cannon. Oh, yeah. I'll probably chase them actually. Oh, yeah, good idea. Um, and use the cannon to soften up the sentries further. Have a really good position here because my infantry here are on the outpost, these are in cover, so these sentries really can't do that much. And if I place this unit, if I go here, they also won't be able to run away very much. Mm -hmm. I can finish off this up. Up close and then block the sentries. We can scavenge them for spare Very parts. tactical. Indeed. <laughs> They're crippling me, but I'm not running away, so I'm okay with that. It's worth saying as well, the issue enforcers have a nice little ability that if they do get too badly beaten up, they can heal themselves. Yep. Uh, pretty quickly, so they're pretty hardcore compared to these other starting units. Yeah, and it synergizes really well with their laser gun going to low power because you can mm -hmm. use the heal when they're in low power and it'll you'll use the turn to recharge the weapon. Um, and here actually, I think first I'm gonna... Oh, I can bombard. That's always the solution. <laughs> so my units gain some XP. Unfortunately, I don't have specimen containment research yet but oh. yeah but that's okay yeah. um here with this guy i'm gonna move down and heal and then grab this you working cash. on the, take, the, take the gamble oh you met somebody you met zephon zephon let's see what he has to say oh he's very friendly what do you want to discuss yeah, so he's giving us an introduction. He's, uh, sounds like a pretty, uh... He's a decent suspicious, fella. Suspicious, suspicious robot, if you, if you ask No, me. he's a lovely chatbot. You've just got a problem with AI. I am AIs, very impressed by your accomplishment. Just because he's built on plagiarism doesn't mean he's a bad person. Mm, yeah, and it likes my, uh, my resource network attribute. 
So we are bonding in our cyber abilities. We predict oh. you are about to make an offer. Okay, they're asking if we want anything from them right now. We could offer peace. Um, or a gift, or yeah. just end the call. Shall we go for peace? See what they yeah, say. Yeah, see if they want this. Yeah, they might, they might enjoy peace. Okay. Oh. Your words are a alone pain. insufficient. He wants a gift or an offer of resources so that he accepts. Well, I think that's I think that's cheap, isn't it? I think that's cheap. Only... We are gonna need the chips, though. But uh... he's only he's only asking for a fifth of what we've got, right? Um, a quarter, a quarter, I think. A quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you think we should take it? Yes, it's a piece at all costs, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do it then. I am on board. Yeah, so that also makes him happier, and uh, I think uh, we could exchange maps. Uh, yeah, let's try, see what's going on in the rest of the world. He nice. happily accepts and thanks us for being of use. That's very Zephony. So, um, so we can see what he can see now. Yeah, so he has a city right up here, very close to us, actually in one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Not quite in bombard range, but if we upgrade it, it will be. What does what's the, the it does, what's it upgrade to? Is it twelve? Yeah, it doubles it to twelve. So... Is that the final upgrade, or does it go higher than that? Reveals. Um, unsure yet. Um, still designing <laughs> the tier ten stuff. Uh, we okay. might increase it, might increase the damage, uh, but it's definitely not available in the demo. But we could wait to declare war on them, for example, until we get the upgrade on range and then we can bombard them if we ever want to go to war with them. How cynical of you. Yeah. Oh. They He's calling to, uh, you again? Calling me again. And we research the specimen containment, which uh, if we kill any neutral grey units now, we'll get some research. Let's see what he wants. The request is at your discretion. Though it is mandatory, he wants money. He wants money. That's what we get for. <laughs> ah, okay. How much does he want? He wants a quarter again. It's up to you. I'm, I I'm not feel like he's abusing us. I don't like this. I think. I mean, this doesn't mean he's gonna declare war on us right away. Hopefully, but I think we're gonna reject this. Uh, Okay. Do you think we, we are we is it because we're just too close to his borders? Is that why? I don't know why. It might be that he thinks he's better than us right now, uh, in some way. Most likely militarily, because he has two CDs. Even economically, mm -hmm. he's in a better position. Yeah. Uh, so sharing, exchanging maps gave us the vision down here. Um. So yeah. So, so do his cities expand like like our cities do? Yeah, indeed they do. And his special attribute is that they can expand as far as he likes. Like he could make a row of, of tiles for his cities down here if he wanted to. While we kind of have to do it more in a circular fashion or depending on our our research. Right, okay. And that's a unique to him. So we do each of the... There are, there are three factions you can't play as, right? Which are the the, the Anchorite, uh, Zephon, and the Chiefess. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Um, they're three, I mean, th yeah. They're the three NPCs that are in our world and represent like the native, or not so much the native, but um, non-player character factions. Mm -hmm. Both the Acrian and Zephon and the human bandits that survived, just struggling to. To so keep surviving. Um, so for you, a you, second, you you choose, you choose this time. Yeah, I think we're just go, gonna go for the chips because we're gonna need them. Um, the issue of forces when we build them, each one will cost five. Uh, so we're gonna definitely need that. Okay. Um. We've seen quite a lot of the early game now. Oops, some of the early game units. Would, do you think it'd be possible to see some of the late game at some point? Yeah, I think. Uh, oof. 
as these bastards are killing us here, I think this could be a good point to fast forward a little and <laughs> see what Run else. away! Yeah, essentially, since we saw there was a big scary monster that went over here, oh, yeah. I think we're gonna run away by loading a, a later save. Okay. So this save is 83 turns in, which places us very well into our tier 5 slash 6 technologies. Uh, we can see we got in this game we didn't get the chips here, but we got the early assassin hero. We also went for for vehicles uh, and then a bunch of things related to that. And uh, we're in a situation here diplomatically where we're trading with the honorable aristocrat that started down here and has two bases. Zephon by this time has actually been eliminated. Oh. Um, but the, our challenge is that the rest of the players have allied together. The Furtive Tribunal, the Fallen Soldier and the Anchorite are all in a three-way alliance and are all battling us and the Honorable Aristocrat and the Chiefess. So they're assaulting me here on my base and on the other side down here I'm assaulting their city. So we have a two-pronged battle going on and we have some hard choices to make as well. I'm gonna sneeze in a minute, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the situation up here is we're producing some units, Criteria Stalkers uh, are our tier 6 units that it will be new in this Team Next Fest demo. Mm -hmm. and can, we, they... can we look in? Can you give me a little pan on those? Can we zoom in and do a side to side thing? Of course. Ooh. Their uh, unique thing is that they uh, they gain more damage as they kill uh, enemy units. So if they finish off a unit, they'll become stronger for three turns. Um, over here we have a cargo, Exosia Marauder, which we can use to uh, hide our units that are low health, especially these Aranean Stalkers here. We might mm -hmm. consider getting them in. And there's a support unit, the Hashvalim Host, um, which has Graviton projectors that ignore any cover. So if they're in forest, we don't really care about with this unit, and as a special ability, he can given a curacy penalty. And then we have a nice. little drone uh, <coughs> drone support. A little unit. drone. A giant drone. <laughs> <laughs> a giant drone that can make uh, deploy smaller drones. Uh, lovely. So yeah, up here we're defending, so I think let's make a couple choices how to to fend off these evil dream eaters from the Anchorite, which are trying to Still are the minds of our cybernetic units. Oh, that's a pity. How mean of them. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Let's get some extra combat drones. Actually, this uh, child exterminator has a flamethrower, so we just he's on fire and he's gonna take some extra damage next turn. Nice, but he's very big by the looks of it. He is big and with a lot of hit points, so it's gonna... We can attack him with our HQ as well, with the missiles, which is gonna help. Hmm, so whether we use the cannon on him or on the... Yeah, we could finish him off. I think that would be a good idea, let's do that. Yeah. Level up. Nice. Just gonna try to kill this siege tank. That is a big boy. That is a big boy. Then we have the battle down here, where our main army is actually. We have two heroes, the Aerolim Assassin and the Crypt Archai. And uh, we're battling a big force 
of deformities and their hero, the elect of Uzodai. Oh, the early assassin looks so normal. Sure, she's just perfectly, perfectly normal little person. <laughs> yeah. So I think we'll we're gonna try to take this city down as fast as possible, because then their defenses go down as well. So we're gonna use all our abilities to try to take the city down. Um, oh, so then the heroes have special powers as well, don't they? Indeed, for... the heirloom assassin has an assassinate for extra damage and the uh, ability to ghost walk through enemy units and evasion, mm -hmm. damage reduction, and then any kind of items lots you of... give on her. Yeah, yeah, lots of the items. Ooh, what does that do? This says a uh, tier 6 Tessar core fortification, which the Hashmalim host can place, and uh, I think we're gonna go place one. Ooh. Just gonna have to trade in some minerals so that we're able to see what Heinz says. Our relationship. Well, that's nice of him. Mm -hmm. He wants to give us a gift. Hmm. Two transuranium bars and two antimatter cells as well. It's gonna be helpful. That's... And we need the minerals for the for the unit. Perfect. That was fortuitous. And he wants an alliance as well. Yeah, I mean, cool. Good work, Heimser. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's Give go me for your it. table of fare, please. Nice. See how he's doing down here. He's okay, isn't he? He looks like he's just on his own. Yeah, no one seems to really be fighting him right now, which is definitely good for him. Kijata. Nice. So now that we researched the test record, we can place one defensively here, and I think I'm gonna place it down here, and it's gonna help me defend this position. Test record what does it do? has a graviton oh. accelerator, similarly to the graviton projector, but a stronger version of it. And yeah, everyone is attacking it now that they could. Mm. Um, also, it has the unique thing of having two actions, so it can attack two units. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that is that the voice transport by any chance? Yeah, it's the Dice Embrace. Ugh. I've been ready for the human race. Um, it's worth saying that all the voice uh, units are just people, really. Maybe Akrin, but mainly people who spend too much time thinking about stuff, basically. <laughs> it is a peril as a philosophy student, I know. If you spend too much time thinking, you do end up looking a bit like that. <laughs> a bit like this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, or like this, right? Oh, dear. Yeah. With the uh, I mean, body on your that's back. More it's more the rugby That's team. That's your that conscience, yeah. Dan. <laughs> yeah, there's a monkey on my back. Yeah, all my, all my son. <laughs> um, how are we doing on that building? We almost got the city. Yeah, it looks like it's 15. 15 hit points. We lost our repair engineer, which is very bad. But I think we... Even if we lose our whole army, we should be able to finish the city off next turn, I believe. This is what I was made for. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, these criteria stalkers do so much damage. Oof. <laughs> wow. It's a, a dark missile. Yeah, in a smoke screen. Yeah, not gonna do much damage to that in there. Moves. Hmm, pretty low on resources here. Yeah, what do we need? We need minerals. So let's buy some minerals. You've got ridiculous amounts of influence. <laughs> I do, yeah. 
the Aerolim Assassins, Dance of the Aerolim. However, is free. Hmm. Can use it to hit. Unfortunately, yeah. just two units here. Oh, unless I got. Here, I would hit all of these guys. That's the yeah, go for it. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> <laughs> can heal up as well. We'll take some bleed damage next turn, but I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's worth it. We don't actually have to fully kill these deformities because they take two damage each turn, so these two guys will automatically die. Okay, I think this might be a good place to wrap it up. Um, this you, game looks like you, it still has a lot of potential here. We would clear this Yeah, path. I think a lot, a lot of fighting going to happen. Could you maybe reveal the map so we can see what you're up against? How much chance you actually had? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. It's mostly deformities and... Uh, That's a lot of deformities. A lot of stuff we would have to battle through to, to get to them. Yeah, they're really taking over the map here. Wow. Another possibility would be to see what we could do diplomatically to break them up. Because if you imagine the orange and the purple start to fight here, it would whittle mm -hmm. them down quite quickly. We could also yeah. help um, have helped yellow the honorable aristocrat by defeating the chiefess up here. Yeah. So yeah, you were fighting on t too many different fronts there, and you, you have basically haven't explored the, all the way. You've gone all the way down that bottom left corner, but you haven't explored next to your base where the chiefess is. Yeah. So if we retreated, oh, even his hero went behind here. Yeah. If we would manage to pull back here, we could reinforce our base and then go kill the chiefess, which would give the honorable aristocrats some breathing room, and then they could push maybe a bit more down here. Seems pretty bad right here. Yeah, but the thing was, you weren't, you didn't know the aristocrat was going to be your ally, so you, there was no way that you could have planned for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, complicated. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was that was a good, a good glimpse into the game. Um, thanks for showing that. Yeah, thanks uh, to everyone for watching, and if you wanna give it a try, uh, Steam Next Fest should be running now. Uh, give it a try. Let us know what you think, and. Uh, have fun playing. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Cheerio.